Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the adventures of Nazim al Shabaab, Sword Singer, whom we can see here in third person view because I have installed another mod called Third Person Camera. And you can have the background be out of focus or in focus as you choose. But uh, anyway, last time we attempted to ingratiate ourselves to the local royalty, the king and queen of Daggerfall City and of the entire kingdom of Daggerfall. But uh, so far our reputation and abilities and so forth are not high enough to merit very much attention. Uh, and certainly not enough to merit the kind of information and quests that we're hoping to get, especially from the Queen. So, we're going to explore the city of Daggerfall a bit more thoroughly, do some buying and selling, and join a couple of factions, the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild. First of all, let's take a look at this general store. The shop is laid out in a practical and straightforward manner. All the items seem to be of adequate construction. Those descriptions do matter to some extent. Depending on the quality of the store, this one's kind of average, you will get a different quality of inventory, but also different prices uh, for both buying and selling. So ideally, we would like to find a place that's um, a bit more shabby than this to get the best possible prices for selling our goods. And that might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but uh, we'll get into that more later. Um, let's see what they have. A formal cloak. Okay. Not sure about the look of that one. An iron short bow. We do want a cart at some point. They sell a horse and a cart separately. This is also a bit unintuitive in the sense that when you buy a cart, it actually does come with a horse pulling the cart. But yet, if you buy a horse separately and just ride the horse, you go faster, despite the fact that you still technically have a cart that you're pulling with you. It's a little bit silly, in my opinion, that design choice they made, but it is what it is. Uh, and the horse is much more expensive, uh, worth roughly 1,000 gold, the cart roughly 150. So how much would this person ask? 164. Well. We'll see if we can find a place where we can get a better deal than that. We might get slightly better. I don't think this city has the type of shop that offers the very best prices. Uh, those stores, they have a description that runs more or less like um, something about rats scurrying around and dust covering everything. I don't know, something like that. Um, a steel katana, that's a little bit tempting. Okay. Well, I don't think we'll be buying anything right now. Now, just so you know, if you were to click on either of these sections, it would be the same thing. Similarly, if you click on the back of this cupboard, it would be the same as what you would see clicking on the front. Um, so that's kind of the way these things work. Occasionally you'll see uh, additional areas you can click on uh, in this store. That is not the case. If you want to sell things, you talk to him and say sell. Uh, but for now, we'll just chat with him. Well met, stranger. Tell me about, uh, where am I? You are in Daggerfall's best equipment store in Daggerfall. Any news? Rothgaria got the short end of the stick in some deal. Now they're out to get the Royal Guard. Alright, interesting. Let's move along. And we're going to change to info mode. Check our map. We have another shop of some kind here. Bargain bookstore open from 9 to 9. It's currently 8.40 in the morning. Let's go ahead and loiter for one hour. So. The shop is better appointed than many. Its wares lie neatly on the shelves. Although not fit for a king, all are skillfully crafted. So this place will have slightly better inventory and slightly higher prices. We'll move along to an area that has a bit more abundance of shops of various kinds down here.
You have the Emperor's Potions and the Odd Blades. Ooh. Odd Blades. Incense and soft music soothe your nerves as you cross the threshold. Each item in this shop is carefully mounted and displayed. Not the slightest defect can be detected in any item within. So this is a top quality shop. So here you'll get the least money when selling and you'll pay the highest prices when buying, but they also have the highest chance of having the highest quality items currently available to you. So for example, we have here this silver Daikatana. So we might see not only occasional silver items, but also possibly elven. You know, whatever. Yeah, see there's an elven wakazashi, that's pretty cool. So yeah, whatever items are of the highest quality typically available to someone at your level. So some things in this game are level, level based. That Elven Saber is definitely tempting. 4 to 13 damage. Our Steel Longsword offers 2 to 16. Elven Longbow, wow. That would cost a fair amount. So, hmm. Yeah, if this were an Elven Katana instead of a Saber, I'd be much more tempted. Um, See what we have here. Steel katana. Three to sixteen versus this two to sixteen. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, sir. We will move along. The first thing we want to do is sell a bunch of extra goods. Let's take a look at our inventory again here, real quick. We're currently wearing an iron helm. We have a steel left pauldron. We don't have any right pauldron yet. We have an iron cuirass. We have no greaves. We do have some nice silver boots. And we don't yet have any gauntlets. Let's take a look here. Steel helm. Okay, the iron helm is plus seven to armor. Steel helm plus nine to armor. Yeah, we should be wearing that. Somehow I'd overlooked that. We have, for magic items, only our spellbook, some miscellaneous items, including this potion recipe. Oops. Hmm. Red berries, ichor, lodestone for a potion of resist shock. Ingredients. Griffin's feather, werebore's tusk, red flowers. Dragon scales and a red rose. Let's see what this shop is like. The shop is better appointed than many, okay. Another bookstore. The superior book stall. Better appointed than many. Alright. <laughs> I like the look of this gentleman here reading his book. As he sits on an overturned bucket, perhaps? Daggerfall Metalworks. Better appointed than many. Okay. Well, we'll take a look. We could also get items repaired in stores like this. Wakizashi, if you're not aware, is like a short katana. And a tanto is even shorter. So Wakizashi's and tantos both use the short blade skill. Dai Katana is a very large katana, that's a two-handed weapon. I think I'll try to stick with one-handed long swords so that Nazim can also wear a shield. Speaking of which, we have here our chain round shield, plus two to armor. Hmm.
nothing too tempting here. Our character will not wear leather or chain. Thank you, blacksmith. So we'll move along. We have another general store, Gondasteer's quality general store. Laid out in a practical and straightforward manner. Adequate construction. Hmm. A cashable cloak. It's kind of cool. I'm not 100% certain if your character's appearance really matters in terms of how people treat you. I imagine it might matter to some extent. But I don't recall if it definitely does. Um, occasionally we might need to buy more torches and candles because due to the types of settings and mods we have installed, uh, having our own light source is important sometimes when dungeon delving. Elven Katana, very nice. 4 to 17 damage. Okay. Very nice indeed. So these general stores, despite not being specialized blacksmiths, they do have nice weapons sometimes. Hmm. So, how much could I talk you down on this? 683 gold pieces. I'll think about it. We will very likely come back. So, making a mental note about this place. And we move on. Mortared Spices. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to get big into alchemy in this playthrough, we'll see. But uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and sell some of my items. These ingredients, we have Griffin's Feather, Dragon Scales, Werebore's Tusk, Red Rose, and Northern Red Flowers. 280 gold, fair enough. The Restless Gin, a very nice inn. And we have Daggerfall's Best Tailoring. The shop is better appointed than many, okay. So this is the type of place you go to if you really want to get your character a bit more dressed up. Not a priority for us right now. Ah, the red cloak is kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, let me see that again. Not too shabby. I'll think about that, but again, not a priority right now. There are lots of different interesting clothing options. Now a lot of these, for better or worse, will get typically covered up by armor for a character like mine. Uh, but they're still kind of cool. They have priest robes available. And plain robes. So some of these do go over armor. Kajit suit. <laughs> no thanks. Well, that could be interesting for kind of a roguish type character. For sure. They come in different colors. Well, let's clear that out and uh, let's get our casual pants back on. 
and they're a short shirt. Okay. Take care. What else do we have? The Lynx and Barbarian. And the Lucky Wolf. Well, if memory serves, I think this area is a good one to go to. It should be about as good as I can get in this city for selling my arms and armor. I should mention that in this city, there is the headquarters for a local order of knights. But my character will not be joining them. He does aspire to join an order of knights, but he wants to join the Order of the Candle in Sentinel, Northern Hammerfell. In any case, here is Theoden's General Smithy. Incense and soft music, okay. So we're not going to sell here. Daggerfall Mail. Sturdy shells cobbled together out of scrap lumber hold the shop wares. The items are sound and functional, but little more than that. So, this is a rather low-level shop. So if they happen to have items of interest, we do want to buy from this one. Wow! An elven round shield. Not bad. Leather tower shield. Okay. So... Yeah, I'm not sure it'd be worth trying to get a higher a higher material quality for a round shield or not, but uh, we can think about that. Maybe buy some arrows. Five gold pieces. I like the fact that the bartering, the negotiating, is automatic in this game. Because in Arena, the first Elder Scrolls game, the bartering does get a little bit tiresome very quickly. <laughs> um, you know, I'm okay with it, but it's not my favorite part of that game. An iron right pauldron. That is a bit tempting. Steel katana. We have that elven katana we can get elsewhere. Hmm. Let me think about that. Does it have any others? No, that's it for the inventory. So, it's possible I might find something better in the near future, but, oof, 157 gold pieces. Yeah, maybe I'll say no. Maybe I'll hold out until I can get at least steel, if not something a bit higher. But in any case, let's sell a bunch of items to this gentleman. Like I said, this might seem a bit unintuitive that someone in a cheaper shop would be able to give us more gold. Uh, but you could kind of come up with the justification for that. Um, you know, presumably he does have access to funds, uh, but perhaps doesn't prioritize maintenance on his shop, and perhaps is a bit lacking in his mercantile skill, his negotiating skills, so it's easier to negotiate higher prices. Perhaps he's more desperate for new inventory. Whatever justification you come up with, uh, that's the way the game works. But the lower quality shops, they have cheaper goods, you can buy for cheaper, and occasionally really good, decent goods that you can buy for cheaper as well, and you'll get the best prices when selling your goods. So. So it goes. This is saying here that, um, you know, essentially the default value for all these items that we're trying to sell should be 2250 uh, but you typically can't get that much. What we can talk him up to is 975 gold. Interesting. Interesting.
I'll go ahead and add the steel longsword to the deal as well. And now we can get 1,033. Sounds good. Now we have over 2,000 gold. Let's take a look at what's offered here. Hmm. Not too impressive so far. Of course, eventually we will hope to... Of course, eventually we'll hope to find some enchanted weapons and armor. But that may be a way off. If you try to buy something that is forbidden by your class, it will warn you. Your class prohibits you from equipping this. Silver Saber. Steel Longbow. That's a cool looking steel helm, but... Uh, then again, I kind of like the fact that we can still see his face here. I imagine the repair prices also differ, so if we did have items that we wanted to repair, which we don't, I think everything's still in roughly new condition, that's good. But if we did, I assume the repair prices would similarly be better from this guy in Daggerfall Mail than in Theoden's General Smithy. So let's go back and get that Elven Katana. And I believe, I believe it was here that we saw an Elven Longbow. So we may want to look into purchasing that as well. Then we'll go ahead and join the Fighter's Guild and perhaps take on a quest. And in the near future, take on a quest from the uh, Mages Guild as well. We have a Temple of Kinnereth here. Now our character worships RK, first and foremost. RK is also referred to as Tuwaka by some people of Hammerfell. So. In any case, um, he will be joining the Order of Arche at some point, which is also headquartered in Sentinel, much like the Order of the Candle that he wishes to join as well. So that is a little ways off. But who knows, I'm not sure how quickly we might end up in Sentinel. Hmm. So here's the Elven Katana. And we also want a cart. Uh, the main purpose of the cart is not only that it makes movement early on, uh, a little bit more convenient, you know, you won't be draining stamina as you as you travel around when you travel by cart or by horse, but also you can carry a lot more stuff. Um, so, 854 gold. Yes, we'll agree to that. Now we have this wagon space, up to 750 kilograms. I guess we'll just hang on to this shield until we find something better. Let's check on that elven longbow. Hmm. 
There it is. Elven longbow. Yeah, how much would they try to charge for this? 742. Well... It is a bit tempting. We only have five arrows for now. And I don't want to buy more arrows from these more expensive shops. 5 to 19 damage. It would pair nicely with her elven katana. So okay, let's go ahead and do it. And now we'll move along to the Fighter's Guild. Vintage Smith. Ah, okay. I should check this place out too. Another high quality store. Highest quality, I should say. And what do we find? Nothing much of interest so far. Oh well. So be it. The beaver and bird. And here we have the fighter's guild. Past 11 a.m., that's good, so they are open. And. Let's save again. And here we are. My name is Mordain Mastercroft. My master has asked me to find a brave adventurer for a dangerous mission. I cannot tell you more, other than to say that it is worth 282 gold pieces to whoever succeeds. Are you interested? Yes, I suppose so. Even though this sounds like it's something that might be outside the normal auspices of the Fighters Guild, since I haven't joined the Fighters Guild yet, but fair enough. Ask for Gondastir Yoming in the Black Dungeon, and he will have a job for you. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, he uh, won't talk to me anymore? Come on. Interesting. How about you? Agrawir Gerhardt. Well met, stranger. Tell me about the Fighters Guild. You're that evil Nazim al -Ashaba. Telling you would be like telling Clavicus Vile himself. <laughs> wow. That's extremely negative. Despite that, will you let me join the guild? Yes, you look like the sort of warrior we could use in the Fighters Guild. We offer skills training, special discounts on armor and weapon repairs, and very profitable work assignments. In addition, you always have a place to rest in any Fighters Guild. Are you interested? Yes. Excellent. Welcome to the Fighters Guild, Nazim. Your rank currently is Apprentice. Alright, well, thank you. Despite a less than warm welcome, I have... And welcomed officially into the fighter skill. Hello. Training. Training will cost you 200 gold. Sure. Let's go ahead and get some uh, some long blade training. You and the trainer practice for three hours. The trainer tells you to reflect on what you've learned and see if you can put it to good use. And who do we have here? What can I do for you? Says Dunnan Hawking. Let's ask. By the way, over here we have this, these tone options. Normal, normal speech, blunt speech, or polite speech. Polite is best when talking with nobility, sort of upper class people. Blunt for sort of lower class people. Uh, normal, I guess, for people who are kind of in between, maybe middle class, so to speak. Um, I don't always like these terms, but anyway. Um, 
sometimes it's a little bit hard to know which tone you should go with for someone uh, in a guild such as this, but maybe I'll uh, ask bluntly, what can you tell me about the Fighters Guild? The Fighters Guild is a sophisticated mercenary service. They often hire out adventurers as guards, escorts, and occasionally on more covert missions. Okay. Well, that seems uh, to work well enough. Obviously, the way they respond to you will also depend on sort of your overall reputation and your general disposition with a given character or certain factions or locations. Uh, there could be many factors influencing this sort of thing. What are your thoughts on the Order of the Candle? Sorry, friend, I can't help you there. All right. Well... Perhaps I will rest up here before going on to complete this quest. The Black Dungeon in Daggerfall. We'll recover some of our lost uh, stamina. Mercantile skill has improved. Alright. So it's now 7.30, getting toward evening. I like the lighting in here, that's very nice. What is her name? The Sarah Hearthway. Alright. We will see you later, once our task is completed. Saving again. The Black Dungeon, I don't... I think we have spotted that yet. Perhaps we should ask around a little bit. Excuse me, sir. We'll continue using the blunt tone. Can you tell me... Where is the Black Dungeon? It's really easy. You'll want to go awfully close by. It'd be best if I mark the Black Dungeon on your map. Well, perfect. Oh, okay. So it's not so close, but I guess they will mark locations that are relatively far away. Um, okay, so that's a little bit different than the Elder Scrolls Arena. Cool. Now, if it starts getting too late, we might start hearing, or worse yet, there it is. I was going to say we might start hearing or seeing the ghost of Lysandus. So this is the first time that Nazim al Shabab has heard that dreaded sound, and he hopes not to meet with that vengeful spirit yet, for such spirits can be very dangerous. He is not sure, despite his training among the Ashabah tribe and his training in magic and sword fighting in general, he's not sure he's quite yet ready to face the task of trying to quiet that spirit. Besides, he's more interested first and foremost in uncovering the reason behind the vengefulness of this spirit. Here we have the Mage's Guild. King's Books. And there's the Black Dungeon. Oh no. I think we were just being attacked by the vengeful spirit of Lysandus. Let's get indoors. Nice to have found a safe refuge. That's an interesting name. Tristaster Yom Yomham. Yomham. Something like that. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me about any general news? 
You might be interested to know that the Shadow Schemers has just allied with the Summoners of RK. Okay. Interesting. Um... I was told I would meet someone named Ambassador Yomi. Interesting. Any news? I heard that Glenpoint and the Quill Circus have patched up their differences. Okay. So we have Elizavira Whitcroft, Gondanak Yo Smith, there he is, Edward Garfield. Ethereum Coppersley and Hororian Wixley. Oh, good sir. How can I help you, Nazim? Hold on. Nope. Condaster Yoming. Oops. I am Edward Garfield, and I need the services of a hunter of men. I am in love with Peladane Yomfield. Alas, she refuses to marry unless I prove my worthiness by answering a riddle her mentor, Evalausa Woodfield, Woodfield, left behind when she vanished. I need you to find her and find the answer to her riddle. I will pay you 318 gold pieces if you succeed. Well, Nazim doesn't feel particularly interested in this, um, this venture, so uh, no thanks. I will continue my search for an adventurer willing to take up my charge. If you meet anyone who will be interested in such a quest, Direct them to Edward Garfield. All right, Garfield. Hmm. The Severa Master Smith. And who else do we have? No one here. Hmm. Here we go. Know me for who I really am. I am your mortal enemy, Hellergoth. I have a special fate in store for you. Is that so? Why does this orc... Why does this orc wish to slay me? The orc shaman's chanting rises. What the heck just happened? Whoa! Wow! I got teleported? This is crazy! Wow! Oh my goodness. I've never experienced a quest like this. We've gotten a bit more than we bargained for, haven't we, Nazim? Okay. I guess we'll save again. Take a look at our surroundings. We're in a bit of a tight spot. We're low on health. We can't rest due to enemies nearby. Oh my. I'm not sure why that orc shaman has an issue with us. But we better light a torch and find our way out of here. Is that a werewolf? Ooh, this is not good. Wish we had more arrows. We might need to cast a slow fall spell, although we could jump into the water. That should be safe enough, I believe. Wow. Good saving. What the? Oh, okay. There may have been slaughter fish in the water. have been slain. So it goes. We do have this recent save. I should have saved again before going into that inn. I need to be a little more proactive about saving early, saving often. <laughs> but in any case, Oh, there looks to be an exit right down there. What 
I try to look on my world map, it's not letting me. And in a way that makes sense, our character should have no idea where they're located right now. But yes, yeah, so perhaps the most straightforward thing to do, especially in our weakened state, is just to get out of here. Luckily, I do have a slow falling spell. Strange silence envelops you, the air is still and oppressive. What is this place? Geranor Hall. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Well, I might glance around a little bit, just for fun. As you notice here, we can still fight while on horseback or using our cart. Um, I don't recall if that is a Daggerfall Unity innovation. It might be. I, I don't remember for sure, but I don't think original Daggerfall allowed you to do that. But I could be wrong. Anyway, the ruins of Garenor Hall appear rather unfriendly of late. Very odd that Nazim should be targeted like that. Though, of course, his actions in the past have earned him some enemies, and his affiliation with the Emperor will certainly have earned him some more. Let's uh, go ahead then. Travel back to Daggerfall. And we will travel cautiously, Sena ends, sure. Only 15 gold, 3 days time, streetwise skill has improved, okay. Reaching into your pack for something to eat, you spy a note. It wasn't there before. That's interesting. Letter, yours sincerely, Brisiana, Lady Magnuson. Dear Nazim al Shabab, I heard about your accident at sea and fear the worst. Now that I've heard you are alive and well, I would like the opportunity to meet with you and discuss our beloved Emperor's mission in the Adiac Bay. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lady Magnuson, the Emperor's agent in the court of Daggerfall. My position is not so official as an ambassador. None but other agents of the Emperor know of my true affiliation. The Iliac Bay is rife with rebels against the Imperial Throne, so your discretion is required. For the purpose of our meeting, I will take a room at an inn, the Lynx and Fawn in Ashing Hall of Daggerfall, for a month. After that, I will no longer be available. I will expect you as soon as possible. Yours sincerely, Brisiana Lady Magnuson. Okay. The Lynx and Fawn in Ashing Hall. So, when it says Ashing Hall of Daggerfall, I assume that means uh, this is not in Daggerfall City itself, but it's elsewhere within this greater kingdom of Daggerfall, so we'll have to look for Ashing Fall later. For now, I want to go back to the Fighters Guild and have a little chat with that gentleman who gave me that quest. Quality Equipment Store. You might as well check this out. Still in mid mid afternoon. Okay. Another good place for selling things.
or buying to see anything interesting. So we can buy a torch. A gold, sure. Speaking of which, we've forgotten to douse our torch. My mistake. Candles are cheaper. One gold piece, okay. Save again. Excuse me, sir. I would like some information. Don't hurt me, Nazim al -Ashabah. I didn't know what Gondastir Yoming was planning. I ain't got no beef with you, honest. He didn't tell me nothing, I swear. He just paid me to send you to him. It's him you want, not me, right? I hear he's moved to Morton Manor. Look for him there. Morton Manor, eh? to see how all this is documented here in my logbook. I met Morday Mastercroft in Daggerfall. Blah blah blah. The traitor Halargoth, disguised as Gondestir Yoming, magic me to Girinor Hall. If I ever get out, he will regret our next meeting, that's for sure. I have learned that Halargoth is now hiding out in Morton Manor. So... Have us another save. As a matter of fact, I believe we can go ahead and, uh, well, we won't overwrite that yet. Let's create a new save, Nazim 7. And here within Daggerfall Kingdom, Morton Manor. So, we can go recklessly, camping out, two days time. Very interesting, okay. I think we'll stay out of the light. This way. You never know what could be in store for us, knowing that we are being targeted quite ruthlessly. The unfortunate sword. Yes, aptly named. Agrichter Buckingston. Victausa Wixley. Dunaval Kingwing. Victoria Yomhart, Thaster Ashing, Tristane Harthouse. That's a nice flute playing you got there. Alright. Whoa, hello! Eloria Morsley, sorry to disturb you. Hockton. Well, I am in the right spot, am I not? Very interesting. Let's check our logbook again. Hiding out in Morton Manor. Let's talk. 
I despise your kind. Just go away. Rude. Not sure what he means by that. How can I help you, Nazim? Well, do you know where I might find someone going by the name of Gondaster Yomi? I reckon a little more wandering around will make a right good improvement in your manners. Sorry, I'll ask a little bit more politely. Of course I know where Gondaster Yomi is, but I don't want to tell the likes of you. I see. How about you, sir? I'll just ask in a normal tone if he knows anything. It's really easy. You want to go that way? Southwest. I trust him. My fellow Red Guard, who seems to... Seems to be more favorable toward me. It's possible one of these residences might temporarily have a new name. Interesting. Perhaps I just need to start entering these residences and investigating. Let's say. Locked up for the night. Well, that makes sense. Rather late. 11-11. Hmm. Perhaps we'll need to risk spending a night here. Excuse me, dear innkeeper. Will you allow me to uh, rent a room for one night? Three gold pieces. Let's go ahead and rest for seven hours. Hello there again. <laughs> and out we go. Okay. Hi there. Excuse me. Do you happen to know anything about a gondester you and me? Why the hell would I want to give you directions, Nazim? Wow. Any rude types around here? Let's check this place out. The jolly voice says, Welcome to my home! Oh, hello there. Elaine Coppersley. Ah, my friend, how are you this day? Do you know anything about Gunster Yomi? Why don't you try asking me like a normal human being would? Okay, I'll ask more politely. Listen, I ain't get time for this. Uh, why don't you just kiss off, Nazi? Ask you more bluntly. Why don't you try asking me like a normal human being would? Interesting. Okay. Six thirty in the morning. Lovely morning. The sun has not yet fully risen over these cows and haystacks and fallen snow. A jolly voice says, Welcome to my home. And who do we have here? Perrain Greenham. Good to see you, Nazim. How can I help you? Gondester Yomi. No offense, but why would I tell you anything? See how it is. Excuse me. Good day to you, Nazim. Could you tell me about Gondaster Yomi? I'm afraid that means nothing to me, Nazim. Well. 
could I Nazim? How about you? Listen, I ain't got time for this. Why don't you just kiss off Nazim? Why the hell would I want to give you directions, Nazim? Oh my. Okay. Someone says, come on in. Of all Hearthton. Hello there. Good to see you, Nazim. How can I help you? Gondaster Yoming. Even if I knew something, I wouldn't be telling a Red Guard. Oh my goodness. So much mistrust. Start climb up. So much mistrust, racism, ethnocentrism, etc. These are common problems, especially in a world such as this. Um, someone like Nazim, with his types of abilities and background, uh, different people will have varying attitudes toward him. Anyway, so all we heard was that we should go southwest from the inn. A voice calls out, "You may enter." The Sona Copperstone. Ah, my friend, how are you this day? Do you know anything about Gondaster Yomi? Why, the Arch Druid, as if I know. Ask someone else. that gentleman in the inn again. Do you know anything more specific? Simple, you'll find it southwest of here. Do you also know anything um, about Gandastir Yomain? What you're going to want to do is to go not too far to the southwest, if you don't mind walking. Well, thank you. The Citadel of Ebonarm and the Fighters Guild are allies. Of course I'll help you. Great. So do you also know anything about Gondaster Yomin? If I like Redguard better, maybe I'd tell you. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't you like to know? Some of these people. Excuse me. Hello, my friend. Can you tell me? Excuse me, Nazim. I actually have a life to lead. Wow. Good day to you, Nazim. What I'd give to know about Gondaster Yomi. I'm sorry, sir. I think I already checked here. Irritated voice hollers, it's open. Oh, maybe I didn't. Let's take a look up here. Nope. Hmm. Alasa Yomston. Excuse me, do you know anything about Gondaster Yomi? I don't think he's from around here. We are in Morton Manor. 7.10 in the morning. Okay. Morton Manor. Palargoth is hiding out here. Somewhere. Okay. I'll keep looking. Someone says come on in. Hello, my friend. 
You're Nazim Alashaba. I wouldn't tell you about Gondester Yomin even if I did know. I don't have the first clue, I'm afraid. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well. Shoot. Surely there is someone else who can give us a better clue. Tell me about Gondester Yomin. Ask someone else. Can't you see I'm busy? Come on. Very well. You may enter. I'm not. Uh oh, here's. It. Oh my, there you are. I don't know how you escaped from Garanor Hall, Nazim. It won't do you much good, though. Prepare to die. Oh my. Um. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, that was close. Our health is very low. Halargoth is dead. Your enemies will think twice before attempting such treachery again. That's for sure. 36 gold and a steel broadsword. Great. Okay. We're healthy for now. Quick save. I'm not 100% sure whether it will be considered safe to loot anything in this place, but if he was hiding out here, I tend to think it's fair game. Love these transparent windows. It's such a great mod. of anything to be found here, it seems. Oh! Hello there, Avalira Kingston. Oh, uh, you were not on that foul orc shaman's side. Oh, hello, Nazim. Can you tell me anything about this uh, Gondester Yomin? Okay. Wow. Can you tell me anything about... Oh. Uh, let's say the Mage's Guild. I neither nor, nor much care. Okay. Well, very well. Let's get out of here. We'll save again. At this point, well, it might be good to go talk to Mordane Mastercroft again. He might have something more to say. But I also want to go to Ashen Hall. So let's take a look. Is Ashing Hall. Way over there. So if we go there. Okay, that wouldn't take too terribly long. Let's go back to Daggerfall first. We'll stay at inns this time and go cautiously. Climbing streetwise and etiquette have improved. Nice. I just want to quickly go to the fighter's guild. See if there's anything more from that gentleman. Then we'll go to Ashin Hall.
Here we are. Excuse me. Okay, okay, I guess I owe you one for that incident with the Orc Shaman. He was magic to look like a regular guy. Well... Then, what can you tell me about... Oh, the Mages Guild. I'm sorry, but I don't know when I have to go. How about the uh, Fighters Guild? None of your damn business. Maybe if I talk more bluntly? I'm afraid that means nothing to me, Nazim. Do you know much about the Order of the Candle? Ask someone else, Nazim. I'm running late myself. How about the Knights of the Dragon, the local Knights Order? Spirits of High Rock, as if I know. Ask someone else. Alright, well... Hmm. I could get a Fighter's Guild quest, but I think for now... We should just move on. To Ashing Hall. This time, I think we can go recklessly camping out. Three days. Great. The Lynx and Fawn. Sure enough, here it is. Saving again. And who do we have? Alabard Harston, Felidissa Mastersley, Theodaster Garfield, Lady Brisiana, the flute player Alabuir Morehouse, Dundaval Copperford seems to be the innkeep, and Carolira Garrison. Hello there. Ah, thank you for responding to my letter, Nazim. I am Lady Brisiana. Let me bring you to date on affairs. The specter of King Lysandus haunts the streets of Daggerfall at night. Trying to communicate with him is futile. He will occasionally moan the word vengeance, but that is the only coherent word I've ever heard him utter. If you are ever in Daggerfall, do not wander the city at night. You are certain to be attacked by his legion of ghosts. It would be probably more gainful to investigate those who might have wronged Lysandus, to find the cause behind his torment. I do not know if the royal family of Daggerfall or another person or persons merit more suspicion. The major powers of the Bay, Sentinel, Wayrest, and Daggerfall, may be good places to start. Hm. In the matter of the letter, the Emperor's agent says that he was unable to hand deliver it to the Queen because of the war. He hired a courier, who supposedly delivered the letter in his stead. We do not even know the name of this courier. Obviously, there is little information of use, but it would be worthwhile to see whether the letter arrived at Castle Daggerfall at all. How you decide to do this is entirely your decision. I will contact you if any new information should surface. I am leaving Daggerfall soon. My position here has been compromised and my life is in danger. Do not mention my name in court. It is more likely to hurt than help. Good luck. And watch your back, Nazim. Very interesting. So she has nothing more to say. And if I had to make a guess, I would say if I leave and come back, she might not even be here anymore. Okay, I guess wrong. But eventually she may not be here anymore. Well, that's some very interesting information we got. I met with Lady Brisiana in a tavern room. She told me that the three major powers of the Iliac Bay are Daggerfall, Wayrest, and Sentinel. If I am to investigate the mystery of Lysandus' ghost, I should start by speaking with the royal families of these fiefdoms. Beautiful. So maybe I will be going to Sentinel rather soon after all. In any case, for now, this will conclude today's playing session. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video and subscribe to see more. Consider supporting me at patreon.com slash the drake. Many thanks to my current supporters, by the way. And I will see you next time.